Hi guys, this is the review about the Accurite uh, 01021M color weather station with rain gauge and lightning detector. There's no anemometer, uh, of course, which you can see, and there's no bridge or internet connection. So, this is some kind of fixed. Um, yeah, set which you can't expand with anything, you can't expand with an anemometer uh, or, or with the internet access like the internet bridge, there's no way to connect. So if you want to have just some information for you, then it could be the thing for you. It's really a nice thing, it costs only $73, it has come down a little bit in price and it has some really decent features. I think it's one of the best values or the best packages and it, it makes a lot of sense of course. I mean I have been using the Accurite 5-in-1 with the internet bridge for a couple of years but mm, at the end Nobody cared about the weather data which I transmitted to the internet and wind speed, so it's uh, completely inaccurate. We, so we, we had a, a hurricane last week, Irma. Uh, we had about wind speed, official wind speed of about 90 miles, and my uh, five-in-one anemometer. Uh, detected about 60 miles here and it was on top of the chimney uh, it was as um, yeah it doesn't get any better I think uh, than, than on top of the chimney so it's basically I mean it's not totally useless but it doesn't uh, show accurate information the uh, thing which you can get really accurate is the thing from the rain gauge and maybe lightning detection can help you as well. So, um, yeah, basically it's the three parts, three components. You have the display, you have the rain gauge, and you have the lightning detector. And the good thing, which they have really uh, made a good conception, I think, is that this part is not only the lightning detector, it is also the temperature uh, detection. So that's really good, uh, a really good thing because uh, you want to have the temperature sensor in the shade somewhere, maybe in the north, on the, right on the north side of uh, of, a, of a fence maybe or or, or uh, yeah uh, I mean the fence has to be a little bit protected by a bush or something uh, or on the north side of your house or something where you have really accurate accurate <laughs> accurate uh, temperature readings and not at the, the direct sun which you have with these five in one uh, sensors which accurate uh, has uh, apart from that, usually you have the rain gauge and the uh, no, uh, no uh, yeah, the wind speed thing. It's a little bit difficult word. Uh, and no um, Yeah, uh, when 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 you have this five in one, you have the the thing which um, the rain. Uh, you you can't put it in in the shade, and also the wind speed meter. You can't put it. Uh, close to the your home so you have it uh, you have it outside you have to have it outside uh, really good exposed but then it's also exposed to sunlight and it you have always way too high temperature readings with this five in one sensor so that this is not good so I think this is not a bad thing and it uh, it's really a, it comes with a decent price so I start with the display it's a little bit old-fashioned in my based on, on, on my opinion they have already been producing a little bit more contemporary things a couple of years ago 
um, but yeah it's it, it, as it is and the thing is when you look at it the strange thing is when you look through the camera you can pretty good read the display but when you don't look through the camera it's not so good from all the angles like from here from the right or from left or from the top it's almost invisible so but from the front it's no problem at all but they have uh, more expensive displays and they work better than this one the display is not the very best but at least it has some decent functions you have the brightness you can change the brightness a little bit but as you see the difference is not so much there are three levels and one is uh, an automatic detection like now so and it doesn't work with a brightness the uh, like environment brightness sensor it works just within a certain time it i think after 10 o'clock pm it dims down and in the morning at six o'clock it uh, stops dimming and it will be very bright but not everybody wants to wake up at six o'clock in the morning it's a little bit silly so i am you have no idea why they didn't uh, add a sensor but um, yeah you can choose these three levels but the even the lowest level is still very bright in complete darkness I don't know if you really want that uh, in your bedroom so the only thing which you have you can you can disconnect the power and then it's dark except you tip on that and it brightens up for about 10 or 20 seconds and then it dims down so this is what I have during the night the good thing is when you uh, I, I stop talking for a while and, and I tip on that and you can clearly hear that this is not too loud so I hope you have been able to hear that this is really good I mean I had already a lot of other computers and when you clicked on the light thing then it was really loud and you can wake up your uh, wife or something like that so this is not really helpful here they have made a really decent job so basically uh, it has a few different functions it has the current outdoor conditions with maximum uh, temperature I have here I have Celsius and millimeter and those things but I hope you don't ca uh, yeah it's no problem for you I have Celsius yeah uh, maximum minimum uh, minimum maximum for the day uh, humidity here uh, some uh, weather forecast probably based on humidity and pressure you have a heat index in the summer and you have a dew point in the winter that will uh, come up automatically then you have the lightning strikes ba based on this equipment and also an indicator when it's having problems when it's having problems so maybe it's clo too close to a computer or anything else it will uh, this yellow light will flash or just um, yeah uh, be lit up so it will indicate that you have to remove it to another place so that's really good usually it's really good working and you can uh, put it on mute so it doesn't beep all the time you can set up that it's beeping for every lightning strike which you probably won't uh, need so that's a good thing and here you have the uh, rain readings the yeah uh, and here you have the indicators of your sensor there's always there are four things actually I don't have all these things connected now you have an indicator for the signal strings for both of the sensor and the battery level for both of the uh, sensors the annoying thing is now I have the lightning, 
detector connected but it doesn't show any battery reading maybe i have to connect this rain gauge before so the good thing is it has a really um, big letters for time and date and yeah the lightning is is uh the amount of strikes and the distance of the latest strike so you have also a couple of records when I, when you click on this button you can see the uh, low temperature uh, with date and time high temperature with date and time uh, low humidity high humidity uh, lowest uh, pressure which was uh, with hurricane Irma of course um, highest pressure then you have the amount of strikes for the months year and days since last rain 48 hours rain seven day total rain and the uh, rain for the months rate for the previous months until the beginning of the year or even for one year can't remember and then you have the total for the current year and total for the previous year that's it and you have also these alarms which you can set for temperature humidity i think pressure and rain that's about it regarding the alarms but that's more than enough uh, it has this it needs uh, three batteries it has three uh, frequencies it can be uh, be operated with three frequencies if you have any disturbance but of course you have to do the same with all the sensors and there's also a reset button and okay here you can see here we need four of these AA batteries and same thing with the frequency that's really easy job the thing is which is a little bit complicated so that uh, I will show you you can open this by pressing these two flaps and then you have the rain gauge gauge um, this is protected of course you have to remove it's similar to the 5-in-1 though the only thing which is a little bit annoying you have the adjustment below this thing so you have to remove the the wipe or yeah be, before you can adjust in the in the five in one the screws were from the button so no need to remove this sensitive part so i don't know why they, they didn't do it the same it had been much easier so but usually when it's okay then it's okay you don't have to change it all the time and the thing is, the, the, the thing is, which is most annoying of the whole system is the battery compartment, compartment. They say you have to press all these four things at the same time. And I tried it with a screwdriver and I almost got silly. I couldn't find out. So at the end, I found out the best thing is to open this uh, rain gauge compartment and push here and also on this side so you can push from front and the back and then that's very easy to open that and you have access to the battery compartment I don't know why they didn't describe it like that so that's very easy if you try to remove it by pressing these four things at the same time it will be really difficult just open the compartment and then push from these both sides and then that's very easy to remove this thing so apart from that it's a really good thing i mean i have not tested everything i ha didn't have it outside i just left it inside i checked the lightning strikes and a little bit the display how it works and so and i'm very pleased so uh, i think the really good thing is that um, that the temperature sensor is within this 
lightning sensor which you can put I think up to 100 uh, feet or no uh, even even further away like 330 feet away and the rain gauge you can put about 100 up to 100 feet away so you can place that really in the shade where there is no sun this is much better than the 5-in-1 which had all, always bad temperature readings this is really good and I like the thing that I can dim it and just click on that during the night and have some check some readings and you can you see all the connections to your sensors and yeah this it's it's pretty good it's not the highest quality uh but but i think they have really made a decent job and put a lot of information into that and and and, and it's, it's a really good thing the only thing is i mean the reviews are not really good three and a half stars is actually really bad but i mean yeah i probably can tell you after some time now i have uh, just made some initial checks and for me at the moment it looks really really good so i will place it today outside and I probably will make another video in a couple of mo uh, weeks or months and let you know how it uh, did when it was really outside in the sun and rain and, and everything. But at the moment it looks really good. I, uh, I don't get any money for this review, but I think it's, it's really good. I'm not a big fan of Accurate systems, but I think they did a really good job for for so so few money So yeah, no no really big complaints about that. So that's about it for the moment I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you do want to decide on whether to buy or not If you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time